Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am doing a Get Ready With Me and I'm going to test out some new products and I'm also going to talk about some stuff that I have written down in my... I thought I was going to do a bullet journal but then I realized it's not my kind of thing because I'm not that creative in that way and my handwriting is like shit. But I've done a little bit and I write down my ideas for videos and uh, yeah. So I have written down some things that I want to talk in this get ready with me so I think this is going to be a long video. And I have some questions for you in this get ready with me and uh, I think we just get started and as you know <laughs> it's soon Christmas, or soon, soon. When I'm filming this, it's like three weeks left. This will not come up this week, but yeah. I don't know what I think about Christmas. I think it's okay. I hate to do the decorations. This is like the only thing I have done in our bedroom. Is this little light thing. I don't hate Christmas, but I don't love Christmas. And our Christmas tree is going up the 23rd of December. If we even have one, my boyfriend wants a Christmas tree, I don't really want one. Because we have had like a little Christmas tree, like, I don't know, but like a half of a normal Christmas tree. And every morning the tree was turned over because we have two cats and they, they know they are not supposed to play with it. Christmas tree but when we are sleeping they do what the fuck ever they want so yeah I don't know I see what we will do okay so I'm going to use this palette and this is from Lime Crime it's the Venus 2 and Lime Crime is a pretty controversial brand it's not such so much controversial now that it was like Maybe four or five years ago, now, now they have changed their CEO, CEO, I think, and rebranded. And I bought this from Beauty Bay when they have their bargain sale. And I have never tried Lime Crime before. I had a lipstick, but that's all. And it looks like this. And Maybe like this, I can show you. It looks like this, and I think you know which are my favorites. It's this mustard and this yam. So I'm going to use this today, and I have, as I said, never used Lime Crime before. I think the package looks nice, but it's a really bulky palette. And the shadows are not so big, but yeah, we're going to test this. And I've... Yeah, I think I'm just going to do my makeup and talk a little bit while I do it. So I don't talk so much about the makeup I'm doing. I'm talking about other stuff. Okay, so what I want to ask you... Okay, we'll see how this works. Um, it's what... What you want to see more of, uh, it feels like the only thing I'm doing now is like first impressions and yeah this is the first impression get ready with me and I have a couple of more palettes to do it but I don't think it's fun to only see first impressions all the time so I want to mix it up a little bit. Okay, This was a little darker, a little muddier than I thought, but it's going to be okay. Um, so I don't know what you want to see more. I am doing three looks on palette. I have editing, I have filmed and editing my second one and I think it's pretty fun but when I'm done with that <laughs> I don't know what to do. But I have I think I have six eyeshadow palettes that I haven't tried yet. And yeah, you hear that. And two more is on the way. 
I went a little bit overboard maybe on the Black Friday. Um, I bought two palettes from Menagerie Cosmetics and two palettes from Certify. I was not planning to buy from Certify but then they have 40% off. So instead of buying one I bought two. Um, so it's going to be more first impression. But I don't know if it's so fun to only see first impressions. Do you think it is? And also I don't know if you want like a... Um, set schedule or what you should say about my videos now. I am... I don't even know if anybody have noticed. But I am trying to have some kind of first impression on maybe Monday. And then I am trying to get... Another video and also a tag video every week. But I don't know if that is such a good idea. Okay, now I really don't know. I think I want to do something a bit grungy. Can we take this one? I'm a little bit afraid of this mud one. And also, I wonder which time you want me to upload. Right now I am uploading um, 6 a.m. here in Sweden and I don't know if you want me to change the time or not because now I have a lot more of uh, American followers than I had before and you are a couple hours after us Or are I just continuing with uploading this time that I'm doing? <laughs> what is this for kind of here? Another thing I'm thinking about, I am thinking about doing a UVS week. UVS place week because I have seven palettes and I thought that I would maybe do come up with a video a video per day and uh, with each and every one of my UVS place palettes. I don't know if that's something you want to see and if you want like seven tutorials in a row. If you want it, please let me know because then I will try to fix it. But it will take a couple of weeks for me to do that because I usually... If I film two, week, two videos per day, I am... Um, I having the same makeup in those two videos because I don't have the time to do two different looks in one day because I am at work each and every day okay this feels like it's going to be some kind of strange punky rainbow eye or something. I don't really know what I'm doing. So I'm thinking about doing a UVS Place week because that is the brand that I have the most palettes from. And I will try to do more reviews. Um, I'm going to do a review on my... I don't know if you want to see a review of my Modern Renaissance because I think now when I have used it in Free Looks 1 palette I have used it so much and I have used the colors so much all the different colors and I'm thinking about doing more reviews uh, of palettes because now I like do a first impression maybe a tutorial and then you never see anything more from the palette and me as I'm thinking about doing more reviews okay I am not like talking anything about the things I have written down. I'm just babbling about other stuff. Okay, the UVS thing I wrote down. And then I had another idea of a video series and that is going to be a month, a year long because I have bought the Zodiac palette from Colourpop and this is 12 shades and it's one shade for every zodiac sign and I was thinking about doing like in January okay I don't know which sign that is when it's the sign I'm going to use I'm going to do a video and makeup around that 
sign in this palette. Is that something you want to see? I don't know if that's something people want to see. <laughs> but I think it would be fun. It's not going to be only... I'm going to do more things with this palette. But one video a month when I use the shadow that's for that month. If you get what I mean. I really hope you get what I mean. Because I can't explain it any better than that. And if there's anything else you want me to do... Please comment down below because I am so glad for all the um, ideas I can get. And I'm also looking so much forward to my low buy next year. I don't know if that's a normal thing to look forward to but it's going to be so fun to use the things I have more than I do now because now I have so so much new things I uh, like only trying the new things and not my old things and I want to use my old things as well and yeah um, we're not done because I have some face products to use as well but I think I'm going it's a highlighter I got a new highlighter so I think I will um, I got some fallouts. I will take this off and I will also um, put on my foundation and my eyebrows and then I come back and we can fix the highlighter and stuff and also the lips. I have so I have so dry lips right now. So I'm coming back when I have the full face on and we are going to test out my new highlighter. So almost the face is on. We're just going to test the new highlighter and I have this one. This is UA. I don't know how to pronounce this. UA. And I've talked about this in my brands I want to try, my collab with Annette. And I have heard so much about this highlighter and yeah, mostly from Paulina Beauty. It feels like I'm stalking her sometimes. Um, this is the Citrine highlighter and the packaging looks like this. I don't know how I feel about this. Looks like this. And this is like Paulina's favorite highlighter. And I was afraid that this was going to be a little bit too dark for me because I am very pale. But I've read on Beauty Bay that people with very fair skin tone like this. So I'm hoping for the best. I can't do it because it has a mirror. So we will try this. And this is the first thing I test from UA. Okay. Uh, on the brush it looks crazy. So we will see. Ooh. Okay. It seems a little a bit too dark for me. Fudge. Or it's just maybe because it's this champagne or gold, gold-ish. I usually don't care so much about the different highlighters. I like the most of them. Uh, okay. This looks pretty amazing. I am just afraid it, it is a little bit too dark for me. I don't know how I will look in the camera. Shoot. I bought this from Beauty Bay as well when they had their bargain sale. Um, because it was so much cheaper than it normally is. Okay, I don't know if this maybe is a little bit too dark for me. And sometimes I have the Ordinary Serum Foundation on and I really love this foundation but before, first when I put it on it doesn't look so good and then it sinks into the skin and it looks really good but then when I put like contour and blush and highlight over it just lays over the foundation but then when I fix spray it with fixing spray 
it looks good again. Okay, so I don't know how this look. I think it is a little bit too dark for me. Yes, I do. It feels like it really is showing. Okay, I'm going to spray my face and see if this looks better. Okay, I think it looks a little bit better. But it feels like it is a little bit too dark for me. I think it's so hard to see in the studio lights. The same with the foundation. If it's too dark or not. For my under eyes, I think I will do the same. So I take the yellow one further in. And another thing I want to do more next year, it's collabs. I think that is really fun to do that. I have done two collabs now pretty recently with Annette and also with Danielle. And I think it's fun to do collabs. I <laughs> really like how this look turned out. Um, these colors are so, or these two colors, the mustard and the jam, they are totally up my alley. It's my favorite color and I really like, I like orange and yellow as you know, but I really like when it's not so bright. I love the bright ones as well, but I have so much of the bright ones, so I like it when it's a little bit more grungy, a little bit more toned down and like that. So I'm going to put on some lipstick and mascara and my mascara is here. So this is what I came up with. I used the Hanging Rock from Nabla, the pulp kit. I love this color. I think it's, it's dark but it's not too dark. I just love it and I think it goes pretty good with the eyes. And I am thinking to do a video and show my red lipsticks. I usually don't wear so much red lipsticks on my channel. But I really love them because I really love them. And I take this as a red one um, because it is, it's dark red. So I am thinking about doing a video with all my red lipsticks and talk about them and uh, tell you which one is my favorites. And that's, I think, is going to be my only, like, Christmas-themed video, because red is Christmas. So, this was this Get Red With Me. I hope I came out with something, and, yeah, uh, about the products, I like this palette really much, the, the colors I have tried. They were easy to work with, the color payoff, it's good. The mustard was a little bit muddier but I don't know maybe not I don't know I like it and as for the highlighter it looks so good I just don't know if it is too dark for me um I have no idea maybe I have to mix it with something else or I can I think I can have it like this the only problem with my pale as skin is that I have the same color all year round because I know some people they can like this is my summer highlight and this is my winter highlight and I'm like this is my highlight all year round because this pale face stays all year round. So this is the finished look and this was my get red with me and yeah. Please comment down below what you think about doing a UVS Place week, the Zodiac from Colourpop, if I should do a look each month, and if you want me to change my uploading time or not. As I have it right now, I put the video in, I'm planning the video the day before, so when I go to bed and then when I wake up in the morning, they are uploading because I don't have the time to start my computer before I go to work and stuff like that. So, yeah, I can change it, but right now I I like how I have it. But if you want something else, please let me know. And also, if there's any videos you want to see, please let me know which one and I will try to fix that. So, yeah, that was all for this video. I think it became pretty long and... What do you think about long videos? 
me myself I love long videos because I usually do other stuff when I'm watching YouTube like doing the dishes or cleaning or anything and I hate like this five minutes videos I want longer videos so <laughs> if you want longer or shorter or what the heck you want please let me know so I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one bye